Hello, gorgeous soul. This week, we have an amazing opportunity to liberate ourselves as Pluto, the Lord of Transformation, is going direct. When Pluto was retrograde, we were all swimming around in the underworld and in our wounds, and it's been very intense. So now it's freedom and we can go onwards. Uranus is throwing in some dollops of, of surprises. There's an opposition with Mercury, so be careful what you say. But then there is a lovely trine with Venus, bringing in some beautiful surprises of intimacy. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey, gorgeous Sagittarius. Well, my wild one, Pluto is going direct. You may have been taking a deep dive into issues to do with security and abundance in your life. You may have gone back and thought about times where things changed and you didn't have so much abundance or you felt insecure. There's all sorts of digging that you've been doing. And right now, it's a time to go forward. Pluto is saying this is fertile ground for you to plant the seeds of your future and your future abundance and security. There is potential there and it's beginning now. Don't lose faith and don't lose the plot when Mercury opposes Uranus because, you know, that can tip you. And you have this moment now to be very, very clear. Don't go to extremes from no boundaries to too many boundaries. If you feel that someone's criticizing you in the middle of your creative process or when you're opening up on a new level to your spirituality, don't take it on. There is no point going into an argument because actually that will rock your spirit and then you won't be as intuitive as you could be because you are very intuitive at the moment. Now, Venus, the planet of love, is trying Uranus and it gives you an opportunity to really build on your career and to start seeing the rewards coming in. I would imagine that you get some good news around the 11th or after the 11th around your career, but it means you've got to just tinker with the, the final details. There's maybe one thing you have to do that you weren't expecting to do, and then boom, boom, shakalaka, you are on your way. So it's up to you to have the focus, but you know, it's going to pay off for you. Let's see what the tarot has to say for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, 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 trust your instincts, trust your intuition and think about what it is that you want to draw towards you this week. This is you in your power, the king of wands. That's the king fire sign. So regardless of gender, you are the king, baby, and you are sitting on your throne surveying the landscape of your spirit and your soul. And, and thinking about where you're going next. But being the king, you are in a position of power. There may, may be conversations about moving or, or changing your environment in some way. There may even be a celebration connected to that. But you are inspired. The star, inspiration, healing and peace in your spirit. Take care, gorgeous. Come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight. If you want your written horoscopes, it's horoscope.co.uk. And for tarot, michellenight.com so much love to you michellenight.com i was a client of michelle knight so i knew all of the the psychics and they'd read for me it's such a innovative and really useful organization to have at your fingertips there are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is, they have an idea of you know what a psychic should and shouldn't do and a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival side show and Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for, it's a unique family and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading and I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got the job, I, I pray that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight wasn't, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. 
the interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics. So surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two, three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings and this beautiful distinctive voice, it's Michelle Knight here, I'm ringing you for my test reading, is on the other end of the line, is scary. She, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations. You get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball. The flexibility we get as readers, well, it's just great. I do love the freedom of when I can work and when I can have a break. Michelle Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for michelleknight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.